Hey, Jason here, and as you have probably seen already, we are adding a dissolve animation into our toggle. And we, let's just jump right into it. First, we are clicking on our object we want to toggle, in this case, the shirt. Set the volume tune shader to cut out or <clears throat> transparent, since our pack might not work. And in our tune shader, um, let's just scroll down. It's in special effects, dissolve, enable it, set the dissolve type to point to point. And under the point, point to point, world local, set it to local. Start point minus two is beyond the avatar. End point one is above the avatar. Um, in this case, it's not necessary to have it to minus two, minus one might work as well, but minus two is beyond the avatar and we are doing a full body dissolve in another video, so I will just set it to minus two already. So next thing we are need to do is the dissolve color. We click on it one time and set the alpha to zero. So it is invisible. Oops, come on, zero, thank you. And what we do now, the dissolve alpha, we just increase it a little bit and look if it works. Yeah, that works nicely. Since Poyomi made a video about how all of this works, I will just go um, very quickly through the uh, options. So edge color, we can set any color we want for the edge. Um, you can um, use an edge gradient, a texture to make it look nicer. I don't do it right now. Then we have to solve detail noise. Just insert a noise in here, something like this. Increase the tiling a little bit, five, five, to make it look a little bit better. The soft detail strength is how much the noise will be used. Let's do something like this. Yeah, looks nice, you're fine by me. So with this, uh, the basic shade options are set up. Let's get into animating. For this, we duplicate our avatar. Hide our main, just work with the duplications. Uh, we insert the FX controller in here because we need it later and get into animating. Uh, it is a shirt animation, so I want to have it in the shirt folder. Create new clip, shirt, minus dissolve. Um, add property, shirt is active plus, and add property, shirt, skin mesh renderer. It's called dissolve alpha plus, we need both of them. Since it is the dissolve, we are going to 10 and toggle the shirt off here and set the dissolve to 1. 1 is the max value, which is invisible. So if, if we move the white line to see that the, how the animation would look like. With this, the dissolve animation is already done. Now we need a uh, appear animation, shirt here. Here again, same settings, work is active, we need this. Skin mesh renderer, alpha, plus. So, first thing, we are starting at one, since it, it's, since it is supposed to be invisible. And the shirt is toggled off in this moment. On the first frame, we enable it. And on 10, we set it to enabled and to zero. Here, we don't need this. So that it slowly appears. And next thing, we need to create a third animation. Shirt on here. And this is because we are only doing one right now. Third skin mesh renderer. Alpha. 
and we just copy it because we want the thing to be enabled and seeable. Because in high lag situations, um, the other animation which lets the shirt appear might stop. So we make sure it's uh, visible all the time. And now we are getting into the animator. We have our um, simple shirt toggle here already. First, what we are doing, we set it to non looping animations. A shirt on animation doesn't is not suitable anymore, so we need shirt on appear. Right click on it, set as layer default state, white defaults off. Then we have shirt dissolve, oops, and shirt appear. Make transition so that we have a nice somewhat circular square or whatever. Um, the first white arrow, no exit time, and condition is shirt equals one. And then we want to toggle the shirt on again, shirt off. Click on the white arrow, no exit time, shirt equals zero. Disable white defaults for the new animations we just put in. For shirt dissolve, set the speed to roughly 0 0.05. For shirt appear, the same. Um, look into base layer if it has added the animations here, which it has. Just delete them. And just let's go into play mode. Take a look. I will move the animator out so what, so you can see what I'm doing here. And we have shut on appeared right now. If we um, set it to one, it slowly disappears. Now it is completely disabled. And if we set it back to zero, it appears uh, again. And that's the basic setup for a uh, dissolve toggle animation. In the next video, we are doing a full body dissolve so that we can turn invisible. And after that, we are looking into the logic how we can have um, both at the same time. Bye!